so much went down at a memorably messy 90 day fiance before the 90 days tell all season 5 is over and we know that at least some of these couples will return to the franchise but some major questions are still unresolved fans across social media are abuzz with queries and we've compiled some of the most frequently asked questions and may be able to help with answers gino allegedly slid into jessica's dms memphis straight up disappeared mahogany's fake apartment wasn't explained did johnny follow through on his flight plans and why was the entire cast team mike when viewers are much more divided over him during part one of the tell-all sean robinson asked gino if he had messaged anyone else from the cast she and jasmine gave him every opportunity to confess but when gino is under pressure he denies everything no matter how transparent the lie naturally the tell all shared dms showing gino messaging ben's friend jessica who quickly shut down any possible flirtation though the dms shown clearly imply that gino is the one reaching out gino claimed at the tell all that jessica had reached out first that seems unlikely for a host of reasons regardless this led to open feuding between jasmine and jessica with the former lashing out at the latter due to insecurities gino claimed to have deleted his dms and to therefore be unable to prove his ridiculous claim jessica offered to show her dms to the camera but viewers didn't see that maybe she did and the show aired their edited screenshot above instead of trying to make us read a screen via screen via screen set of dms up next what is going on with memphis memphis and hamza were easily the best looking couple at the tell all and the only ones who were physically on stage together they are married have welcomed a child together and seem to have everything going for them but during the tell all memphis abruptly got up and left explaining that she was sick hamza remained behind at the request of production but viewers didn't hear from memphis we all know that they likely filmed for another season already so was this planned to avoid spoilers or something else Rawia, Hamza's sister and a fan favorite took to instagram to share a number of things vaguely implying that something is up with memphis she also shared that she and her mother hayat had been prepared to participate in the tell all only to not be called upon after memphis left what happened maybe memphis really was sick that's the most likely explanation or maybe there are things that no one is ready to discuss just yet there was so much that was covered about ben and mahogany we saw scenes from their season we saw never before shown footage and mahogany feeling betrayed by it viewers were even treated to jessica ben's friend telling him exactly what she now thinks of him jessica called mahogany a victim and jasmine said that ben gave off a pervert vibe but there are still questions about mahogany and that super fake looking apartment what was the deal with the most staged transparently not hers apartment that we've ever seen it really wasn't addressed enough on the show and even less so on the tell all now maybe ben and mahogany did go into it but their answers didn't fit on the tell all or maybe ben's interview answer given earlier this year was meant to be enough earlier this year as the season aired ben tried to justify the apartment he claimed that mahogany really did live there for a while maybe he was trying to cover for her maybe he's even more gullible than viewers thought it's hard to say ella and johnny had an uncomfortable season with a lot of tears and zero payoff because they never got to meet up at the tell all johnny promised that he was coming in february and had already purchased his ticket the tell all was filmed in january of this year however one month ahead of that trip ella and johnny cannot see the future and neither can Sean Robinson, so none of them at the time knew where things are headed. There have been no photos of the two together shared on Instagram. That could be due to the NDA for season 5, or even beyond that. Ella Johnson will return to the franchise on 90 Day Diaries. Perhaps we will get to see her and Johnny meet up in person. Perhaps not. We'd love to have seen her on another season of a more prominent spin-off, but maybe production wasn't willing to take the chance that Johnny would back out again. A lot of viewers are totally weirded out over how universally Team Mike the cast was. Sure, 
Earlier this season, it seemed like Jimena was just disgusted by him but not breaking things off because of the benefits of dating him. But even those of us who didn't see Mike's disgusting racist social media history saw an ugly side of him on screen. Mike swore at Jimena, insulting her and insulting her family. He also strongly gave off the vibe that he felt that he could buy Jimena and her love, at one point even refusing to leave her home because he paid the rent. No amount of money gives you ownership of a person, and a gift is just that, a gift, not a conditional tool to hold over someone's head. Mike was being gross. It's possible that Mike's castmates had only seen certain sides of their conflicts, because this was filmed in January. Clearly, they were given footage from later in the season to watch, but it must have been a highlight reel, not a dozen or so hours. If that's the case, then production picked those edits to share because they wanted the cast to be Team Mike, possibly to build up hype for his and Jimena's next season.